bertemu kembali. MLab sebuah syarikat R&D tempatan yang mengkhususkan dalam teknologi ketersambungan baru-baru ini telah menandatangani memorandum persefahaman MOU dengan Reka iaitu sebuah syarikat R&D yang memfokuskan dalam otomasi untuk membentuk gabungan bagi menerajui pembangunan teknologi ketersambungan bagi kenderaan tanpa pemandu. Melalui perkongsian ini, MLab akan mempercepatkan lagi pembangunan teknologi pandu sendiri dalam pasaran yang mengintegrasikan teknologi ke dalam sistem pandu sendiri dan pelbagai fungsi lain. Bagi membincangkan lebih lanjut, kita bersama dengan pengarah MLab iaitu Chu Zeman yang bersedia pada ketika ini. Good morning, Zeman. Uh, first of all, the, the world is in a, a race to create uh, autonomous cars with a safe and reliable self-driving uh, system. And you said in your press release that Malaysia is not far behind. But where are we uh, in terms of our readiness? I think we have we, we are there to establish the infrastructure to make the self-driving capabilities to be ready. We are there. We are almost there. And also, uh, we've seen our 5G rollout was somewhat lagged a bit due to the structural issue uh, recently. How important for us to get 5G rolling uh, to support innovations uh, such as the autonomous vehicles? I think 5G will play an important part to enable autonomous vehicle like uh, immediate uh, control and knowing what's what's happening with the vehicle. So that's definitely important. Um, 5G will be the, one of the key enabling technology for self-driving car. Yeah, and also the uh, share with us about this uh, collaboration because you wanted to uh, realize uh, smarter and safer uh, driving in Malaysia through collaborative research and also development. How about the commercialization uh, aspect or effort? The 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 collaboration with Reka is actually we, we are doing the communication technology so that we can control remotely what's happening to the car and we need to have a secure channel so that uh, uh, we, we can ensure that the data transfer is always in a very secure manner no one else can control other than the people that you authorize to control so we, we built that electronics and the uh, technology around it sort of get it ready. So that's our collaboration with Reka. Mm -hmm. And also localizing technology. These efforts will not only uh, ensure an accelerated um, progress uh, of local adoption of technology, but also highlights the significant impact of research and development R&D uh, through uh, collaboration. What is the challenge here, given that the uh, phase-out process of fossil fuel vehicles might take a little bit more time for Malaysia? I can, I, I think we can see the trend is moving into the electric mobility mm. uh, slowly. It is going to take its time. Um, fossil fuel is still going to be, I, I think in my opinion, is still going to be there for quite some time. But we have to get the technology ready to hit before when we really need it. So when you want to change, you have the choice. I think that's what we are trying to do here. And also, uh, how, what, how do you expect that the local uh, industry players will uh, adopt this technology, especially the, the technology that you are planning to do, the, the R&D that you are planning to do, and make it into, you know, to commercialize it uh, into the market? I, I think there's some work or uh, groundwork needs to be done, like the supply chain uh, management to make sure that what you need to build, there's a supplier for it. And there's a local place that we can work together to make it into a product that qualifies the automotive standards to, so that you can safely use in the car. And I, I think that that is the kind of uh, prepare work that we are trying to establish now. So when the time comes, it's there then you just take it and put it into the vehicle. So this is what we are thinking. But do you think that, in your point of view, do you think that 
it is quite a challenge right now given that the world have seen the shortage of uh, chip supply uh, in the global chain. Uh, how do you see this kind of uh, uh, problem or this kind of uh, challenge will further exacerbate uh, the, 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 uh, the effort you know, and, and also will it hinder the effort to, you know, to further propel the autonomous uh, industry uh, growth? I think the the chip shortage def definitely has an immediate impact now on the existing production. But when we design a product, it's a few years ahead. So we have to design and foresee what's going to happen in the future and determine that, okay, we need this chip now, then start working upwards and tell the supplier that we need this, this volume by this time. Then only they can prepare much much better in advance. So that's how the supply chain in technology works yeah. in terms of the semiconductor world. And also, uh, Zeban, what needs to yeah. be done in terms of our policies to further support the industry? Are we, uh, uh, do we have a conducive uh, environment or, or are we conducive enough of to support the industry? Um, I think Collaborative, everyone is trying to find out uh, what's the best way to make this technology commercializable and adopt. But at the moment, uh, I think Greta would be a better person to explain this part uh, because we rely on them to, to figure out and we do the tech part on the electronics. So, so we have to work to make things happen. But we do have the technology uh, in Malaysia to to prop, for the problem uh, this uh, innovation. Yeah, I, I think we have a great amount of talent pool that have, they're so passionate into doing some impactful technology. For, for example, like this self-driving cars project, or the technology involved, you need people to design it. So the talent pool are there, but we have to make it available to them. They have to be accessible to have the chance to be involved into the project and actually make it happen that truly belongs to the us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, last, last but not least, but uh, what is your hope uh, to achieve uh, via this collaboration? Uh, my hope is we want to bring the message to the market is that uh, research and development is important for the future and it the, the best way to work moving forward is to work together with everyone in the industries to push it into the market. Then I, I think the future is very bright along that line. All right. Zaman, thank you so much uh, for spending time with us this morning. Itu tadi Chu Zaman yang merupakan pengarah uh, M Lab iaitu uh, kita membincangkan tentang uh, ini adalah usaha untuk membina usaha permulaan setidaknya untuk membina uh, kenderaan tanpa pemandu ataupun dipandu sendiri autonomous vehicle ini dan Ezra Wani sudah memberikan fokus kepada inovasi seperti ini untuk kita melihat bagaimana kami boleh mengorak langkah dalam aspek seperti ini. Baik kita akan berhenti sekali lagi kembali selepas ini.